going to be sort of a chit chat get ready with me but I wanted to make it a point in this video to use a bunch of products in my collection that I never reach for I have way too much makeup I have more makeup than anyone needs and there are just some products in my collection that don't get enough love so I went through my collection and I decided to use a bunch of products that I never use never reach for it doesn't mean they're bad just means I prefer other ones in my collection and sometimes you just get into a routine of the products that you really love and you forget about the rest so I made a point to rediscover some products in this video and if you're like me I really encourage you to do the same because I, I rediscovered some products that might be some favorites from here on out I would also like to say really quick excuse the rat's nest on my head okay let's get started I'm not really sure what I want to use for primer because I rarely ever use this one but that's because I think that it breaks me out and I don't want to break out. I'm going to go with this one instead. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I got this in a BoxyCharm and the last time I used it was in that video. That's the only time I've ever used it. It feels so smooth going on the skin. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and spot conceal like I always do. This is not an unused, unloved product in my collection. I use this all the time, which is the Wet n Wild Cover All Cover Stick. This one is in the shade Light. That primer makes this goes on a little bit smoother. Since it's a stick concealer, it's a little bit, you know, rougher and it doesn't glide on as easily as like a cream liquid concealer would. Keep that in mind. So for foundation, I'm going to go ahead and use this one even though I doubt that it matches me. It is the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation and it's in the shade 05 Warm Porcelain. I did a first impression sort of wear test video on this foundation and I sort of liked it in that video, but it wasn't my shade. It was way too dark. This one is closer to my shade, but it still doesn't match me perfectly. I'm also going to use this with a brush because I'm too lazy to go wet my sponge. Ew, you hear that? This foundation has like a super moussey sort of texture. I really like the finish of this. All right, now for concealer, I think I'm gonna mix a few. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, which I rarely use this because it's too dark for my under eye. So I'm going to mix it with the LA Girl Pro Conceal, which I recently got and I used it a bunch, but then I realized that I don't think I like this. I think it makes my under eyes look sort of creepy. Maybe it's the combination of this with my Pro Matte from L'Oreal, or it doesn't agree with my powder or my primer. It just, it could be a bunch of different things. So I'm gonna try it again today. This It Cosmetics is in the shade Neutral Medium, and that is too dark for me. They switched my setup around, as you can see. I didn't like having to turn around constantly when I was filming to grab stuff out of my drawers. So now my drawers are right here, so I can grab them easily. This concealer is looking really heavy, but that's because it's really full coverage and I'm using a dry sponge, so that's probably why. That doesn't look bad. It's not looking creepy yet. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes and set my under eye concealer off of camera, and I will be right back. So to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna use my Bare Minerals Matte powder foundation. This is in the shade Fair. I used to use this pretty often. I'm pretty sure the reason why I stopped was because it's just too dark for me like everything else is. And I do prefer my It Cosmetics Pressed powder foundation over this one. That one is much higher coverage. I'm pretty impressed with everything so far. And that concealer doesn't look as crepey and crusty as it used to. I think it might just not agree with my Pro Matte. I'm really liking the way that my makeup looks so far except for this stinking zit, but I don't think that's the product's fault. I'm also gonna grab another Bare Minerals product. This is the Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil, which is sort of like this radiant-ish powder. I'm not gonna apply it like a highlighter, more like a face powder, but I have not used this in forever. This is a hand-me-down from my mom. Nothing's happening. Maybe I'll try this brush. I just don't notice anything happening, and I am I used an entire cap full, like a cap and a half now. Alright, so just to bronze up my skin a little bit, I'm going to use this Milani Bronzer XL All Over Glow. I think I've used this like a few times. There's technically two separate sides to it, and it looks like there's like gold shimmer throughout it, but I don't really notice much difference between the two sides, so I'm just, I'm just going to mix it all together. I think I just don't reach for this one because I prefer my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This looks good. It's very warm. Very summary it's a little dark on me so I'm gonna run over it with my powder brush it is a very pigmented there's like a lot of color payoff but I do like it I feel like I'll reach for this a lot more when I have a tan going on all right for blush I think I'm gonna dip into this this is the Urban Decay Naked Flushed palette it's in the shade Native I bought this on Sephora solely because it was on sale for 15 bucks and they're originally like 32 or something and I'm so glad I didn't spend 32 bucks on this because I literally never reach for this I don't know 
know if this blush is just super intimidating to me. I don't know. It's like I'm nervous just because of like how pink this blush is. It already looks more intense on camera than it does in real life, I promise. I've been pleasantly surprised by everything so far, so hopefully the trend continues. I'm also gonna dip into this highlight. Ooh, am I? Let's do it, let's dip into it. It sort of looks a little bit ashy, which is probably because of how bronzy I'm looking right now, but that is pretty. I do like that. I am more of a cool toned lover. So just to make that highlight a little bit more warm, I'm gonna layer this one on top. This is the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in the shade Golden Lights. I don't usually wear this because it's like a whitish highlight but the it's almost like a duochrome and it's got such a strong yellow sheen to it it's like not really gold in my opinion it's like yellow and I just don't usually go for that kind of look but maybe I'll layer it on top of this one it might look better it does. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it definitely looks a lot more gold. I do like it layered on top of that other one. Oh, I was gonna use this blush too. What the heck? I'm also gonna pop on the Pure Cheek Stain in the shade Prosecco. I also got this in a BoxyCharm and I, I liked it. I just don't typically reach for cream products much at all. I don't like the way that cream products blend onto my skin. I don't know if it's because my skin is oily or if it just doesn't like my typical foundations because they just usually don't work out that well. But I am gonna go ahead and apply this. This is what I did in that video and it worked pretty well. Okay, this kind of feels like it's like cooling. <gasps> did not mean to do that. I'm gonna use the brush that it comes with. Is it making that much of a difference? Probably not. This is a cheek stain. Yeah, it's called a cheek stain, so I wonder if this is supposed to last a long time. But I do think that this would make a good traveling blush or like a touch-up blush because it would be easy to like throw in your purse. Since it's not powder, it's not gonna shatter or anything like that. Plus it comes with a brush on the other end, so. It's a good product. I don't know why I don't use it more often. I don't use the original Naked or the Naked Smoky that much at all. So maybe I'll just go for the OG Naked palette, should I? <gasps> I just feel like anytime I reach for this palette, I always want to do the same look. I just, I gravitate toward the same shades every single time. So I'm going to do something super duper simple. I'm not going to go do the whole one eye off camera thing because I'm just going to wing it and do something super simple. So I'm going to take the shade Naked here, lightly dust it in my crease. One of my least favorite things about the Naked palettes is how badly they transfer from my lid to my like upper crease area. So I am gonna go ahead and take a sort of sticky base and lay it down before I go in with my lid shade. Instead of going for like a white or a black, I think I'm actually gonna do something a little bit more fun. I'm gonna use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Oyster. It's like a lavendery purple. Goes nicely with my nails. I feel like purples tend to sort of bring out any blue that I have in my eyes. All right, then I'm gonna go over top of that with the shade Sin. It's just a light pinky shade. Pretty. I love what that, that lavender shade did to this color. And then I'm gonna dip back into Naked and just blend out my crease, any harsh lines. Then I'm grabbing the shade of Virgin for my brow bone and my inner corner. This is the first video that I have filmed in a long while. Cam's on a work trip as always and whenever he leaves I just get like thrown off my groove you know I just feel so unmotivated to like do anything so I think I'm gonna do like a pop of color on the lower lash line because I rarely use this palette first I'm gonna use like a more fluffy brush and go in with the lighter pink then I'm gonna grab a pencil brush and dip into the darker readier pink I'm also gonna grab that jumbo eye pencil that I used as a base and pop that in my waterline. It's very subtle in the waterline, but I feel like it just sort of opens up my eyes a little bit more. All right, so I'm just gonna grab my Maybelline Master Duo eyeliner. It's in the shade Black Lacquer. And I'm just gonna try and create the thinnest line that I possibly can on my lid. I'm not gonna do a wing or anything. This is just to help the lash band blend into something. Wow, I cannot stand this. This was my Holy Grail eyeliner for so long. This is the one that I wore all throughout high school. I wore big arse wing every single day to school, just this and mascara, and that was it. That's all I used to wear in high school. And now I prefer my NYC liner a thousand times over this one. I don't really have any mascaras that I don't use that often. I pretty much use them all relatively equally. So I'm just gonna use the one that I got most recently. This is my newest mascara. This is the Doucet Max Lash Volumizer Mascara. I got this in a BoxyCharm and I do really like this, but it's super expensive so I'm not planning on repurchasing it for full price or anything. I'm definitely one of those people that thinks you can get great mascaras at the drugstore. I just, I think the drugstore has really great mascaras so that you don't need to splurge too much on mascara. And on the bottom lashes, I'm going to use my Bare Minerals Lash Combination. I always use this on my lower lashes because the wand is so stinking tiny. 
on this little sample size so it's super easy to get on in there. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and go off of camera. I'm gonna do my eyebrows and apply some falsies and I will be right back to do lips. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Lipstick in the shade Honeycomb. This is a little mini size. This feels so like smooth going on the lips. All right, so that is the completed look. I am definitely pleasantly surprised with several of the products. Most of the products I would say that I tried out, there were a few fails, but for the most part, I am really happy with almost all of the products that I tried. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed rediscovering some products in my collection with me, and that concludes this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos of mine, and I will see you guys next time. So instead, I'm gonna just go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and My windows are open and sometimes the wind will just like blow doors shut, blow windows shut, and I just pee myself a little bit.